Hello everyone. So this video, you may remember 10 days ago, Prolotosk oil depot in Rostov was hit by drones. Well, 10 days later, it's still burning and some new videos have been shared. This video play now shows the destruction caused. Multiple oil tanks are burned and some completely destroyed. As the camera pans around, you can see the fire is still pretty big, although nowhere near as bad as it was. At its peak, satellite imagery detected the smoke from a blaze spreading over 100 kilometers from the oil depot. So, this was quite a spectacular strike by Ukraine, one of the most successful yet, certainly the most successful on an oil facility. As well as oil tanks, the fire also spread to kerosene tanks at the oil depot. Locals on Telegram pages report that the city is covered in black smoke and many citizens are wearing masks. I have a satellite image here showing that the blaze is nowhere near as big as it was but it's still burning strong from two points. Here it is zoomed in. Now, Russia reported shortly after the initial strike that another drone hit the facility. That seems to be the case considering the two separate points of fire we can see in this image. The white stuff you can see on the right hand side is foam. I looked at that more in this image here by MT Anderson. It isn't as high quality but it is nicely annotated highlighted four oil tanks burning at the top, the ones caused by the second drone strike. Moving right, foam, which is used to cool and extinguish the fires there. No fires are visible there, so Russia has had success in putting the fires out at this point. And moving down, you can see two clusters of four tanks which are still burning, possibly more hidden under the smoke. So, this was a massive strike. 33 tanks are confirmed as destroyed or badly burned in this attack out of 58 oil tanks plus some unknown tank which might be the kerosene ones. The true number will be higher as a big chunk of the facility is still covered in smoke and so some of the tanks can't be seen. The oil facility was a state reserves oil depot. Apparently it took 15 years to construct and it's been destroyed in a week. This is here about 300 kilometers or so to the front lines. So that's it for this video. A short one, but one I hope you found interesting. Thanks so much for watching, and take care everybody.